My name is Simonaz and welcome to another Simonaz Guide video. Today we're going to talk about one of the most frequently asked about topics and that is your hit chance. How much hit chance should you have? Is it okay to have less than that? All that is going to be covered in this quick little video. Now if you like these kind of videos that I make, please press like down below and subscribe to the channel. It really supports my work. Now let's get to it. I so often get questions or comments like this of how much hit rating should I have? Is it worth losing this much hit? I can't equip this because I won't be hit capped, but I don't get any questions like this. How much agility should I have? Is it worth losing this much agility? Uh, I can't equip this because I won't be agility capped. And uh, no one tells me this. And it makes me think people have some strange understanding about hit rating. They think it's some kind of magical stat that they need much more important than other stats. And it's just not the case. Hit rating is just a stat like agility, attack power, haste rating, or any other. It just adds to your damage output. The only special thing about hit rating is that there's a maximum amount that your character can benefit from, and this is called your hit cap. Any hit rating you have in excess of this cap does not provide any damage benefit to your character whatsoever, so it's very important to not go over any cap for hit rating. Now these hit caps, they differ based on the level of the enemy you're attacking. For abilities, we have a pretty low hit cap, and pretty much every rogue is going to surpass the ability hit cap for all target levels, and that's not what we're really talking about when we're talking about a hit cap. We're usually talking about the auto attack hit cap, and for bosses, level 73 enemies, that's 28%, which is one level lower at level 72 enemies, it's only 25%, and for level 70 enemies, it's down to 24% is all you need. The common knowledge is that you need to reach the 28% boss hit cap in order to maximize your damage output. I'm here to tell you that this is bogus, and there are two reasons why. The first reason is that hit rating, like I said, is just a stat that adds to your damage output. There's nothing magical or super valuable about it compared to other stats. It is a good idea to lose hit rating if you gain enough other stats to compensate. Stat weights are a good way to make quick comparisons between two items. They aren't perfect, because each weight changes slightly as you equip different items, but it's usually going to get the job done. Uh, this chart here shows the weights of different stats in comparison to attack power. So with any two items, you can convert all their stats down to an equivalent amount of attack power, and then pick the item with the bigger number. These two bracers that we had on screen before, Van Braces of Ending and Spy Mistress's Wrist Guards, are a great example. The Spy Mistress's Wrist Guards come out to a total of about 106 equivalent attack power, whereas the Van Braces of Ending come out to an equivalent about 127 attack power. And what this means is, even if you get reduced below your hit cap, and you can't, you know, change your gems or your food buffs to compensate for it, you still always want to equip Van Braces of Ending instead of Spy Mistress's Wrist Guards, even though Van Braces of Ending will lower your hit rating total. The second reason you don't need to reach the 28% hit cap applies to players who are trying to optimize overall damage dealt in a raid. The encounters and trash fight overall damage meter is the most important damage meter to optimize if you're trying to have a smooth and clean run from start to finish. Throughout a raid, you'll attack many enemies who are level 72, 71, or 70. When you attack these enemies with a gear set that has plus 28% hit chance, you're wasting a whole 3 to 4% hit chance that's not providing any damage benefit to your character whatsoever. It's a good idea to build a gear set around 24 to 25% hit chance and use any extra gem or food buffs for agility instead of hit chance. Agility provides damage benefit to your character regardless of the level of your target and is only slightly less beneficial per point than hit rating, but the agility is never wasted. Switching hit for agility one for one with gems and food buff in phase two best in slot gear, we can generate this table that shows different DPS estimates based on your target level and how much hit percent you have on your gear set. And we can see that for a level 73 enemy, of course, the 28% uh, hit is the highest damage output one. But in the other columns against the level 72, 71, or 70 enemies, we see that the lower hit rating totals are much more favorable. Now we can do a weighted average based on different amounts of time spent against level 73 or 72 enemies to make an estimate about what's going to be the best in an overall raid. And we find that when we have about 75% of our time spent attacking level 73 enemies, the 28% and 25% hit rating gear sets are about even. If we spend more than 75% of our time against bosses, 
the 28% set pulls ahead. And if we spend less than that, the 25% set pulls ahead as the favorable choice. Now, these are just some made up numbers to find where that break point is. In my raids, I checked, we spend about 45% of the time on bosses and about 55% of the time on trash, which makes it even more in favor of the 25% hit chance gear setup. And that's it for hit chance. I hope this has cleared up some misconceptions about this stat. The two main takeaways are that it's okay to be below your desired hit cap as long as you're gaining other valuable damage stats. And the second lesson is to optimize overall damage dealt in raids, you should aim for 24 to 25% hit chance and avoid the 28% hit chance boss cap. Thanks for watching the Simonize Show. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Can't wait for more sweet videos. Links are on screen that you can watch right now. Be sure to join the Discord server and pop by on Twitch to catch me live. Links to both are in the video description. Thank you for watching and have a great day.